to the first video in a series of 10 tutorials on how to use the pen tool in Illustrator CC. Today we're going to dive into the pen tool and figure out how it works and how you can use it when you are doing your own drawings and designs. Before we begin, I want to say a special thanks to Verlu over at verlu.duo.com for supplying the worksheet that we'll be using today. If you'd like to use this worksheet, there is a link to her website in the description. This video goes with the Pen Tool Exercises to Learn Illustrator Tools unit at digitalartteacher.com. So if you're teaching graphic design, you can check out the info bar here at the top for more teaching resources. Now it's time to learn some basics. So let's zoom into the gray area to the side of our practice page. We're not going to worry about our practice page here for the moment because we need to learn a few things first. If you want a shortcut to the pen tool, you can use the key P. Often when you start using the pen tool, usually you'll end up with the fill and the stroke being turned on. The default here for the color picker is white and black. This can be easily changed by double clicking and changing it. Or if you don't want to use it at all, you can always click this none icon. Double click the stroke to change the color and change it to something bright so that you can see it easily on this gray background. Start with straight lines. Straight lines can be achieved by clicking the mouse at whichever points you desire. Each place I click is called an anchor point. If you look close, when I hover over each one of these points, you see the word anchor. When you're ready to end your line, hold down the command key and click to the side of your line. Notice that if I zoom into this line, you will never see any pixelation. That's because this is a vector. No matter how far I zoom in or out, you'll never see any pixelation. It's not a bitmap, but a vector. So if you're working with an illustration, Illustrator might be the best program for you to use. We've created straight lines here, so let's look into making some curves. Before we just clicked with our mouse on every stroke, this time click and drag. I'm going to click and drag in the direction that I'm going to be moving. So I want to make a curve going up and down and up and down. Each time you drag your mouse away from the anchor, you see lines stretching out from either side of the anchor. These are called handles. And if I hover over one of these end points, you see the word handle. The farther I drag, my mouse, the deeper the curve will become. And if I were to pull my mouse so that the handles cross, you see that you have this kind of uncontrolled loop. Every time they cross, something weird like that's going to happen, even if I just kind of go beyond the point of the last handle. So you want to control that the best you can as you work. If something doesn't look right, you can always push Command Z to undo your last point. When you have a curved line, you end it in the same way that you end your straight lines. Command click anywhere outside your line. So far, we've created lines. If you want to make a shape, you will need to make your end anchor point meet your beginning anchor point. These two anchors must become one, otherwise they will never become a shape. So be sure that you see the word anchor before you click to finish a shape. Of course, you don't have to use the pen tool to make a shape. If you want to create a standard shape, you can always use the shape tool. There are options inside the shape tool, which we've talked about in a previous video, so I won't go into them here. You can click the link up above to get a basic tutorial on how to use the shape tool. The shape tool has a variety of options for you to choose from. Simply click and drag to create a shape. Take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with making straight and curved lines. 
Practice creating shapes by clicking on your beginning anchor and finishing your shape. Then, once you feel comfortable, slide over to your worksheet and complete most of the first page. Click on your layers to make sure that you are on the working layer and that the template layer is locked. You don't want to change the template or you won't be able to complete this worksheet. Before you begin, take a look at the top of the first page where it gives you a basic key. The blue dots are a mouse click. The red dots are the point at which you will drag a handle. And don't worry about the green dots for now, because we're not quite ready for them. Armed with what you have learned, you'll be working with the straight lines section and both curved lines sections. The straight lines are super simple. You just click on the blue dots in numeric order. Another helpful key to know about is the shift key. If you hold down shift, it will keep your mouse at a 45 or 90 degree angle. So as you click moving inward on each of these tree points, hold down shift and it will keep your mouse horizontal and then vertical when you get down to the bottom. End the shape by clicking on the first anchor, making certain that you see the word anchor before you click. To begin the curved lines, click, hold down shift, drag out to the two. Then click, hold down shift, drag out to the four. And click, hold down shift, drag to the six, and so on and so forth. The first curved line section is just a line. So when you get to the end of it, you'll need to hold command and click outside the line to complete it. And for the second curved lines section, you'll be required to finish the shape. Again, be sure that you see the word anchor when you're ready to finish the shape. Once you finish with these three sections, move on to the next video, and I'll see you there.